Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, this is your host Wakas Ahmed Mir and uh, you are watching Innovative Cyclopedia. Uh, guys, in previous video we were discussing about uh, how we can install this script uh, which name is Filebook. Uh, so in this video we are discussing about how we can update uh, our Filebook script from uh, from old version to the latest version. So before starting the video, if you are watching our video for the first time, then please cl click on the subscribe button and also click on a bell icon for future updates so let's start it how we can update our file book so if you don't know how to install this just uh, go down in the description and i have given the link uh, in which i have mentioned how we can install the file book and also i give the uh, download link you can download this script from my description uh, this script is for uh, testing purpose not for your business uh, so if you need this script for a business person then you can uh, buy this from a code Kenya official website so let's start it how we can install our uh, filebook script so uh, sorry so how we can update our filebook script so uh, let's start it uh, this is uh, my version which is 1.6 so now I'm going to update this to, to the latest version so how we can update this just simple uh, go to the script that uh, I, I have given the link in the description just download the script and uh, go to the update folder and as you can see uh, there is the instruction manual already available so just simply click on that and uh, you need how we can update this the simple upload the uh, script in your directory okay uh, this folder so now i'm going to update this just simple control a control c and now i'm going to my local server so uh this is my script okay so just simple uh control v uh, it will take approximate uh, one to two uh, minutes so we will wait for it and uh, after that we will continue so now i'm going to stop uh, stop the video here and when it finished then uh, i will continue uh, so the update file uh, has been successfully copied so now uh, we just open our php uh, my admin so uh, let me open php php local php my admin if you have a database uh, on your uh, uh, hosting or uh, you have a local server then you go to my php and if you have a uh, shared hosting then uh, just uh, open your cpanel and go to php my admin okay okay now uh, we just need to update our file book uh, let me check uh, where is my drive uh, I think this one so uh, this is my database which name is test uh, okay so now we are going to update this also so just simple go to import click choose choose file and uh, then we need to go to uh, our download folder okay uh, which is uh, 1.7 version go to update folder and as you can see there is a uh, a folder which name is database just open it and click on update sql and open after that go down and click on import button it will take approximate uh, one to two minutes uh, we are getting download underscore link error that's why because uh, we already uh, this is already exist so let me show you uh, as you can see the, there is already exist so don't worry about that now we are going to uh, refresh our page So let me wait. So as you can see, my page has been successfully loaded and it is updated to the latest version. So let me sh uh, 
check the front end as you can see there is no word screen uh, lots of people getting word screen so uh, please watch this uh, video for uh, full and uh, uh, step by step i have already told about the whole process so if you face uh, any problem regarding this just uh, simple comment on a comment section and uh, i will respond to your comment so for today uh, we close the video here and uh, uh, in the next video i will uh, i will give you the more setting about that so take care bye bye